Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Yuani again from Sayataji Kimono and today I want to go talk about Orijime, which are these guys, which are worn down at the around the Obi. Like here. Today I will be showing you how to tie them basically and you've got a few different varieties when it comes to Orijime. Like this, it, it's a, just a regular flat one. But you have formal kinds, which have kind of either a dual color or just a regular gold color. Mostly they are made of metallic threads. So you have like summer ones, quite closely woven, and they are like regular round ones. I have a few formal kinds of them. This one is with metallic threads. This one, these ones are padded. They're a bit thicker and squishy. And last, these are for long-sleeved kimono. They usually have some kind of beading in it. And a bit more fun, they have one thicker end and three similar so you can tie all kind of elaborate knots with it well today I just wanted to show you the regular way how you tie an aubergine so let's go okay so now you have your aubergine this I'm first going to show you with the flat one and after that with the round one well first of all you thread it through your old tie Off with one hand, pull it through, make sure it's in the middle, so the front, and make sure you have the ends aligned. Now I usually go against the obi. Now you want to make sure you put the left, your left hand over the right one. Then the left one goes under. Pull it up. Quite prefer your right hand and pull. Just make sure it's really, really tight. I put my index finger on it. What you want to do now is pull it up and make a kind of triangle making sure that the same side is up and then this one goes kind of through the loop make sure you don't let this one go so we have kind of a this kind of knot. Now you pull one end each slightly. I usually grab them now, pull it to the front and pull the, the bottom part down and quickly pull the upper one. So now you have basically a flat knot. These ends you tuck in with your thumb. On the other hand, tuck it down. Just make sure the aubergine is in the middle. It should align with your obiage knots. So that is the first one. Now let's go to the round one. Okay. So now you've got a round kind of origami. These are usually worn with more casual ones. Depending if they have any kind of metallic, silver or gold threads going through. Again, you thread it through your potato. 
Push the opponents and grab a throw. Yeah, again, align the ends. Come to the middle. With your left hand over the right, under and up. Tighten. Yeah, with the left, make a loop upwards. Hold it down. Thread it through the loop. Tighten a bit. And first pull on the other one and then quickly the upper. And tuck in. Making sure they are nice and neat. This one again. So in, making sure they are aligned. There you go. So there you go. This is basically how I tie the OB gym with either flat one or a round one. Now I could show you how to tie the aubergine, the first sort of aubergine, but these ones are quite a bit harder to tie because there are numerous ways. No, no aubergine is tied the same basically. But these ones are kind of more less worn, especially with those ones with uh, metallic threads. They will actually only be worn with more formal ones. You won't see them usually used in a kind of casual kimono. There you go. I thank you very much for watching and I hope you see you next time. Bye bye.